and shoulders program of our race. It is your see This event vintage modifies is definitely grassroots, and without a doubt, this is a story about cars and the people who drive them. Tonight the infield rule will be in effect because there's so much water in the infield. You put all four tires in the infield, you stay in the infield. Have fun and stay warm. The cars in the Canadian Vintage Modified are pre-1948 coaches and coupes. From the window up, they're original bodies. From the window down, we hang aluminum on them. Underneath are actual race car frames, race car suspensions. They all run leaf springs. And the engines are up to a maximum cubic inch of 255. They run about 350 horsepower, 2,300 pound cars. They run pretty fast. At Flamborough here, they'll run about 90 mile an hour at the end of the straightaway. Cayuga Speedway, we'd hit about 120 miles an hour at the end of the straightaway. I've learned that these cars are, uh, so far, uh, lots of power. Um, a lot different than your normal street car, handling-wise, and they're just quick. These cars haven't really changed since 19... 50s and um, I love these cars and they've evolved over the years to be really fast modified coupes and uh, I've changed with them and uh, I really love them they're fast they're light and uh, affordable the cost to run one of these cars you can buy a car from anywhere from seven thousand dollars race ready to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars depending on which car you buy and where they ran last year in the points or this year in the points uh, the, your weekly expenses are $130 to $150. That's, that's your travel expenses, your fuel for your truck, fuel for the race car. You still have to put your engine and your tires in there, but in any race division, you're, you're going to have to do that. So just from a traveling point of view, it, it's relatively inexpensive to run these cars at the speeds that we run. We have a broad cross-section of uh, people, not only in... Uh, male and female and uh, age from 16 year old to 57 58 year old and we allow 14 year olds to race so and we have seen 14 year olds and we have uh, professional men here that are uh, doctors chiropractors i'm a service manager at a ford car dealership and we have mechanics and we have people from all different trades hi cars pink it's a 33 plymouth coupe i run a 250 chevy engine it's got tweety on it actually tweety and sylvester I always loved those little cartoons as a kid, so I grew up with them. <laughs> so they're, they're on my car. I still grew up with the Barbie dolls, but uh, I actually got into racing because I wanted a go-kart to do my paper route. <laughs> and my dad was like, well, if you're going to get a go-kart, you might as well race it. So I did, and then I moved on to this. <laughs> Me and my wife first looked at it, looked at the harness system in it and everything. Uh, I was very confident. I, I feel better with her in the car and with her in the go-kart because the go-karts well, they were doing 100 mile an hour too so yeah i was very confident with this setup once you're out there there's no difference whether you're a girl or a guy or how old you are it's just you got to beat that car she still goes to the mall <laughs> trying to keep her away from the mall um i think it helps a lot she she's had to learn to deal with adults and racing but uh can't keep her out during the week, but when the weekend comes around, yeah, the mall's kind of pretty low on the priority pole. <laughs> hey, is that your boyfriend? <laughs> boyfriend thing? Eh, I'm working on that. <laughs> Down the front straight away, green flag, and we turn them loose. Well, our club has always been comprised of families, and uh, the atmosphere here is usually friendly, guys help each other. I usually bring every spare part I have in my garage to the races so that in case if I don't need it, somebody else does, and if they do, they're welcome to use it, and that's always been the way this club is. But when we get on the racetrack, we forget that we're married, and we forget that that's our dad out there. Amazing. This is all for my dad. This is amazing. Whoa. Holy jump. Thank you. Thank you, Motor in 2003. You're the best, baby. What can Jennifer Lopez teach you about driving? About as much as she can teach you about how to make a marriage.